Hey everybody, welcome back to JVD Studios. This is a video I've been wanting to do for a little bit of time now, and I decided, let me do it. Get it out of the way. You won't have to worry about it. There are some questions I'm gonna ask into this video. And I wanna know your comments, and I think uh, my friend Scott, who this video is about, or about a couple of videos he pulled out, it's gonna, you know, I think he'll have an answer for him. Now, Scott Garibay, J. Scott Garibay, my good friend, I'm going to put a link to one of his Usa Luna videos that we're going to talk about in the description, uh, in the uh, boxes at the end of the video. You'll see him. Um, he came up with Usa Luna. Now, what is Usa Luna? It is the first ever catalyst settlement. Not a state, a catalyst settlement. Now, what does that mean? Let's break it down. If you've paid attention in science class enough, you'll know what a catalyst does. It causes change. A catalyst of some sort will cause a change to a certain chemical, mineral, whatever the case may be. Usa Luna is a catalyst settlement now the first question that comes to my mind is this he says in his video it's going to be the exact geographical content or contents area wise of the continental u.s my first question arises and it's a question that I'm going to be I'm going to give an answer to my personal opinion will it be or will it not be shaped like the United States and my answer to this I think is no no it's a catalyst settlement so we don't really need to worry about shape of the settlement we just need to have the the size the, the, the square the square acreage in a sense not so much that you know we're gonna go crazy over it but we need to know we have enough and he proposes by the way he proposed this for the 2021 president whoever that may be be it Donald Trump or Joe Biden personally I knew who I'm picking you might pick someone different. You might pick with me. Politics, I know we don't get in on, but I'm going to start to weigh that on this channel a little bit more, and I'll tell you why at the end. Um, but, you know, back to what I was saying, he wants it to be the exact type of land configuration. Um, I'm going to guess in square acreage, uh, not, the exact si not the exact shape of the continental U.S., so that's one. Two is, is it going to be like a terraforming? What a terraforming is, if you do not understand it, I'll break it into Yugi terms, because I play Yugi a little bit, and how that kind of simil you know, similarity compared to us. Terraforming in Yu-Gi-Oh! is a spell card that allows you to gain one field spell from your deck and add it to your hand. What a terraforming really is, is a bubble, in a sense, around an area. A confined area. Think of it like Sandy Cheeks' bubble under the sea in Bikini Bottom. Um, think of it as Druidia from Spaceballs, I think. You can possibly make the assumption on that. Will there be a terraforming involved in this catalyst settlement? And if there is, because he mentioned there's no vacuum, there's no, there's no animals, I think gravity might have an issue. I'm not sure. But if there is a catalyst settlement that it, it is terraformed, how do we expect to get the substantial resources 
if people plan to live on Usa Luna to coexist or to actually survive. That being water, food, air. I don't know right now um, how it's going to work. But Scott mentions the fact of the Catalyst Settlement coming around because it will be a great thing for research, especially when it comes to vaccines. We all right now know what it's like to wear one of these, a mask. I do it every day when I walk into work after I scan my badge into the system and I step through that one door this has to be on me at all times. Unless I am eating. Or if I'm using the bathroom, but that's a different story. And I don't have one, I have three. I have, I have three more, I have two here. But we all know what it's like to, to feel masked. We do. We all do. It's not, it's not rocket science, people. Scott brought up the fact of Usa Luna being a research site to help with COVID-19, COVID-20, COVID-25, and COVID-30. Bottom line. And I like what he said in his one video. We can get the people from the CDC to finally get up and do something. And our first catalyst change, if they don't want to work, the CDC people don't want to work, Catalyst change, you three are gone. Three more new ones can come in. That's a good change too. But here's something I'm also gonna bring up because he brought this up and I really, really like this idea. If the government itself, a government party, i.e. the F, uh, the CDC, the FDA, whatever the case may be, finds a legal and actually does a, get a vaccine for COVID-18, 19, 20, 25, 30, doesn't matter. It will immediately be put out to the U.S. population and anybody else that would need it. If a company such as Pfizer, Johnson & Johnson, GlaxoSmithKline, or whatever, who are not officially affiliated with the government, will either A, have to put it out immediately, or B, can wait up to five years in which to do so. After that five years, it must come out. This is a big thing for me because we already have people working their butts off trying to get the biggest vaccine. And yes, there have been several attempts on certain other drugs for other vaccines, such as Ebola. Yes, the vaccine for Ebola has worked a little bit with COVID-19 taking it down, but it didn't take it completely away. Now we have, we have ultimately, I think, a crap ton more people. We've had a small percentage of people in the beginning making ideas for vaccines. Trump obviously not caring much. Now, I'll be honest with you. I think we can do it. I think it's easy to be done. I don't see any problems with it. I don't. And Usa Luna would have the idea, or the or the or the uh, what's the word I'm looking for, the advantage on having top research area. That's what I'm trying to say. Usa Luna would have it. Now, this is another thing I want to bring up. He mentions people that live on Usa Luna. We can, 
if we do Usa Luna, which I'm personally thinking we should, I'll tell you why in a few. In a few. We can, as citizens of the United States, go up to Usa Luna. And if anybody is born in Usa Luna during this time, they must wait until they are at least, I think he said 18, but I could be wrong on the, on the age on that. He can correct me if I am wrong. And they will have full right to return back to this soil under U.S. government uh, money. And that's not a bad idea because if you look at it overall, in the overall spectrum of it, Usa Luna has done something right now that, that we've people have thought of. It's not being built. It should be. And it's making people that listen to him think a little bit more. Okay? Like for me, I watched his videos and I love what I'm seeing. The content he put out for these two Usa Luna videos is just top notch. He explains everything. He breaks it down. And ultimately, when he breaks it down, I'm looking and I'm saying, okay, so now I get what he's saying. How does that apply? And would this work? I'm personally thinking, yes. Usa Luna would work on more than one account. You have people doing research work. That's great. That is what we need to start with. Okay? If, if something goes wrong, they have a spot to evacuate during the time of the research. Enough said. That's good. But then you have people there that can try to help build and grow this catalyst settlement on the moon and create ideas and change that can benefit not only Usa Luna, but the continental and the other two states of the U.S. Yeah, because I don't, I didn't forget about Alaska and Hawaii. No offense. It's, it's weird to think with Usa Luna being the idea that it is, but at the same time, it works out very well in more than one account. And the fact that Scott wants it to be done, actually myself wants it to be done, we can be the reason it happens. We can be the reason Usa Luna happens. Now, I know you're going to be asking other questions in the comments section, and you might think that this idea is technically not the best idea. If you're going, this is what I'm going to say right now, because I want to get this out of the way. If you are going to disagree with me, that is fine. Say that I disagree, and this is the reason why. I don't want anyone putting on the comments, that's stupid, this is crazy, you don't know what you're talking about, blah, blah, blah. Those are going to get deleted quick. Okay? Yes, I still do Keyforge, Super Show, all that. But this is a topic I needed to get to. And I'm going to bring more politics, in my opinion, out to you guys. Because it seems like now is the time to do it. And I thought to myself, if I can listen to Scott, go over what he says, and have my own opinion, and if I watch the news every day at 4, 5, 6, and 10, 11, and listen to what they have to say, it might sound like a repeating record, yes, 
but if there's something I missed in the first two reports maybe, the third one I might pick it up, or I might pick it up on one of the other two. And I think politics now, I was originally told when I did YouTube to never get into politics, but I think now is the right time. I'm 32. I'm 32 years old. I think politics is a good idea to get into because it makes people think, it makes people wonder, and it really does have an effect on the country. You can hammer down any situation you may have. And if you look at the, but if you look at the facts, everything makes reasons. Everything makes sense. Sometimes. And I want to be one of those people that can bring that to you. I feel like I can bring that to you. Not as best as everyone else. Yes, not as best. But as my own self. Being my own person. For you guys at home. That's why I want to do more politics. This is a quick one about Usa Luna. If you have any questions, put them in the comments section down below. I am going to give a link in the boxes. It should be somewhere floating around my head probably by now. Um, to one of Scott's Usa Luna videos. And if there's anything that you didn't get from that, hit me up in the comments or hit him up in the comments saying, Okay, I see what you're saying here, but I don't understand it. And I want to hear his response back. Scott, thank you for letting me do this video. Thank you guys all for watching. The subscribe button somewhere here. I don't know where. Click on it. Click on the notification bell, and I'll see you guys next video. Thank you again for supporting me, and it's going to be a wild ride from here on out. You'll be expecting a lot more videos in the coming weeks.